Kinzet, welcome to the review. And uh, you are next, so let's take a look at this ship of yours. What's it called, first of all? Uh, Eagle 1, Eagle 2. Pick your number. Eagle 1 or Eagle 2, and it's from the TV show? Space 1999. Space 1999. Back then, One of the classics from yeah, the 80s. Back then, the models were a little more conventional. Yes. So, does it have anything interesting, any interesting features? Because obviously I can see the bridge. Yeah, um... The... Uh, middle section actually is compartmentalized, so it can actually come out. So I could switch in another section once I build them. Yeah. And also, each of the four pods also hold all the weapon shields and all that. Nice. So you got a drop pod effectively in here. Have it. Uh. Essentially, yes. It's more of the colony pod right now. I like this. You see, you see, so the door opens and you've got another door, but that's actually a docked entity. Yeah. So that if and when the air needing require helmet to be on ever comes into play, I've got it set up already to act as sort of airlocks. Yeah. <laughs> I can see that, it really does, I and mean, you can't really see, because of the slight, because of the, because of the gap, it's really, it's, I thought it was just one ship when I first saw it, but now I'm seeing that you've got it docked, it's even more impressive, yep. so yeah, fair play, I, I really like this, and do you have any other modules that you put in there yet, or? Uh, no, I, um, I only finished uh, making this module last night. This is beautiful. And it does have in the central section some rudimentary chairs and a small storage area. Uh -oh. <laughs> so you wouldn't even know. And that little gap is, you know, that, that look at that. He's managed to do it. A little half block gap, everybody. You saw it here first. <laughs> Uh, people are saying this would make an excellent smuggling vessel. <laughs> uh, it is beautiful. You can land it and, on the planet, drop it and off. And even if, let's say, one of the... Uh, payload. I don't know what's in there. One of the pods were happened to be blown off. They mm. also have their own airlocks. Yep. And every area has uh, gravity their own gravity emitter so that you can turn on gravity anywhere very nice very nice well thank you very much and Kinza. i've also sort of made it oh. so that right here you can't get into this one sort of if you if you're not familiar with the ship you could technically be locked in one section and in the back underneath my core is an emergency hatch in case, let's say, the ship is at the wrong angle. Hmm. And I can't get to the side door while it's floating away for some reason. I've got an emergency hatch at the back here that allows me to get access quickly in to get to the core. Hmm. Yeah, I see that. Also with the gravity underneath it as well. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So thank you very much, Kinzet, for bringing this one in. And no problem. Interesting to see what you come up with next. So uh, thanks again. I'm moving on no to problem. the next chip in the review now. So. All right. Thank you.